Hello guys, today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be drawing, and it's been a long time since I drew anything, and I don't think I've actually made an actual full drawing here on YouTube anyways as far as filming, so this is what I'm going to be um, showing you today on this video. It's like stationary. I, I like to draw these. I used to draw this type of flower. It's similar to the morning glory all the time, and it's something really neat to do. I mean, you could use this for like a poem or like a love letter, or you could just use this technique at, for to draw your own piece of art or whatever. But um, I'm going to show you how I did this in time lapse and try to explain everything I've done uh, along the way. So let's get started. These are the colors I'm using, uh, but we're just going to go with this is light green, medium green, and dark green light blue, medium blue, and dark blue. That's not the name of the colors. Uh, I will write the names of the colors in the video description along with the item number because these are Prismacolor pencils and you can actually buy these individually. Um, if you don't have Prismacolor, you could use Crayola as an alternative. To start this off, I draw a little circle to make the flower. And this is a self-centering roller. Um, I, I bought this at Hobby Lobby. They come in different sizes. They're really awesome. And what do you want to do? You want to draw eight lines coming off of this circle, uh, all equal lengths. So just pick a measurement and go with it. I'm doing, um, actually for this flower, it's three quarters of an inch. So, and then I draw all eight lines. Think of a pie. Like these are the pie slices you're making. Once you do that, you want to make like this little curve and have it hook out on the end like that. In fact, it's the same shape as that key on your keyboard that's on the top left corner next to the one. It looks just like that. And just do this for all the petals. Take your time doing it. And that's like a real easy way to get this started on drawing. Now what I'm doing, I'm starting off with the light blue and you want to fade it. You want to press on the right side, press down, not too hard, and then just as you go over to the left side, lift up on your pencil a little bit. And if you have to do it several times to try to get it like even and consistent, that's okay. But you can see this first petal, I do, um, I think this is times three speed which is pretty slow so you can see exactly what I'm doing but you can see me do the rest of the flower in um, time lapse now I'm going over it with the darker blue you see this right here that's that lighter blue again I forgot to do the little streaks in the center have some streaks come off that center circle that are just where you press a little harder uh, it's a little confusing trying to say it like that but I you'll see how I do it on all these um, flowers and I kinda rim the outer part of the flower with that dark with the um, medium blue and this is the dark blue all, the only thing I do with the dark blue is just kinda line the inside of it um, you know along the right side of the petal and then uh, up at the little tip the right side of it and then you see how I do the rest of these in time lapse I do the light blue. See the little streaks I did? You, it doesn't matter as long as you don't forget them. Um, you, it doesn't matter like what part of the process you, you make them as long as you don't forget because it adds a little bit of detail, I think. And then just continue on doing each petal in this manner. And before you know it, it looks it looks like a flower. It looks very, very easy to do. And um, I'd say this is probably the most time consuming part of this, of this drawing. And I did another one for you real quick uh, at a distant view. It's a different size. I think I measured only half an inch per each line 
it doesn't really matter like what size you make them just remember to make all of them the same all each line on each flower the same length that way it's consistent and you know I just realized something I forgot to draw the middle of the flowers on all of them you could draw like yellow in there or blue okay for the vine um, this is the light green after you draw your um, vine in there basically shade it in lightly with the light green and then I come back with the medium green and I line one side of it and I basically do a little shade fading it away from that where I lined it you want to fade it about halfway into the actual vine Now once that's done, I take the darker green and I line the other side. Now I'm going to fade it again, but it's only going to be a very, very, I'm basically taking the harshness off that dark green line. This kind of makes like a 3D effect. I'm sure there's other ways you can do this, so it, it doesn't really matter. You can experiment with it and find out what you like the best. And here's me doing the rest of the vines. First coloring it in with the light green. And then doing the the light the uh, medium green. And then finally the darker green. I only filmed one flower section, the larger one. If I were to do this again, I would actually, I would move the larger flower section further towards the corner and maybe make it a little smaller. Okay, here I am doing the leaves. Morning Glory um, leaves, they come in like many different sizes and colors and stuff. Not the leaves, the flowers. But the leaves are also in different shapes. These are heart-shaped leaves. Basically, you're just going to draw a heart on there, and I, I shade it in with the, the green, light green. Pretty even, pretty consistent. Uh, not too heavy, just, you know, shade it in, make it decent, decently covered. And then I take this medium green and I outline all the actual lines that I previously drew. I actually have a better way of doing this. It's a little bit better. Um, use the dark green to, to outline this like I'm doing right here. And um, use this green that I'm using now to do the shading, which you'll see me do here in a little bit. Uh, and then do this part, what I'm doing right now, last because if you're using Prismacolor they blend really easy and I noticed that when I went to shade this it it, it will kinda of blur the colors together a little bit see how I'm using the darker green now to kinda of like you know darken it up and then I outline it with the darker color too now here I am shading it with that lighter green. I just think you should do that part first. Outline it with the darker and then shade it with the green, the, the medium green. And then, and then you can line the inside of it with, uh, with the darker green, your uh, details and stuff. But I basically shade one side, I fade it from the, um, the outer edge to the center. 
and then on the other side I kind of do the same thing but I go a little less to where it has more of a highlight on one side you can see me doing a few more leaves and time lapse be careful not to press too hard if you just noticed I the, the one I just these two I'm drawing right now it's I pressed a little too hard it was way too dark so I wound up having to try to erase it with an eraser to take some of the boldness out of it but you'll see how I did the shading on this one first this is how, this is how I was telling you you should do it outline it then do the shading and then do the the um the vein work inside well guys that's it this is how I draw these um vine flowers morning glory flowers if you're curious on what colors these are just check the video description I'll write them down there and I appreciate you for being patient and I'll see you here again soon thank you for watching